All right. Best buddies, Fred and Barney, standing on a pier. Historically speaking, I'm not sure this is accurate. I'm not sure if they had a nice pier system in uh, bedrock. So, Fred's 60 yards from a buoy at a given angle, and Barney's 100 yards away at an unknown angle. It's a classic CSET question. Two people, right, from different angles, looking at something with two different distances. Knowing most of these parts, we're looking for one part or the other. It's either law of sines or law of cosines question, and let's just lay it out to see. All right, methodically, here's Fred, here's Barney. So we got Fred is 60 yards, 37 degrees, that's Fred. Okay, 37 degrees. 60, here's our pier, right? Now, Barney is 100 yards with an unknown angle. So Barney is 100. Here's Barney. We're going to make him longer. What do we notice? Looks like this angle is going to be smaller. In fact, it must be. Why? Well, it's opposite a smaller side. Opposite a larger side is a larger angle. So it makes sense that all of our answers are substantially smaller than the 37. All right, let's apply the law of sines. We have sine of A, angle A, over little a equals sine of B over little b. Okay. I'll just call this big B, I'll call this little b. I will call this A as well, instead of calling it angle Fred over side Fred. We've done that though. So here we're going to call this A, right? So sine of 37 over the 100 equals sine of theta over B. And the B is 60. Let's cross multiply this. We get 60 sine 37 equals 100 sine of theta. Divide both sides by 100. Now what we have is an inverse sine idea. Let's go ahead and clean this up so far. Make sure you're in the right mode. All right, so we get something like 0.361 equals sine of theta. That represents the ratio to get inside the angle. We need to do a little inverse sine on that. So a little sine inverse of 0.361 equals theta. Second sign. And we get 21.17. So um, theta equals 21.2 degrees. There we are. Answer is C. All right. Keep in mind, there's a variation on this question which we have as a follow-up in case you didn't guess that already. There's another variation where it gives you both these distances and it gives you both these, or maybe it gives you both of these angles and one of these two sides, and then it asks you about the length between Fred and Barney. Go ahead and do that question now. Think about whether you'll use law of sines or law of cosines and why.